Hello? Okay. Miz. Good to see you too, champ. Come on! What's with the boo-boo face? When I'm the one who liberated you from his lordship. I didn't need liberating. Let's skip the pleasantries. You wanted the WWE Universal Champion on SmackDown. Here I am. What I wanted is the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The champion can be anyone who understands what it means to represent the most must-see sports entertainment show on Earth. You think you're that guy? What I think is that I'm my own man, and the WWE Universe will come along with me or they won't. I'm not doing dog and pony shows for anyone. You might be your own man, but you are playing in my sandbox. And you can play big, bad, counterfeit, stone cold all you want, but you will quickly realize you're just making your life harder. I've never been one for the easy way. Good. That's the perfect attitude for your very first SmackDown main event. Since you were so ready to face Cody Rhodes on Raw, I can only assume you are ready for Kevin Owens tonight. I beat KO in the tournament, and I will gladly beat him again. Excellent! And just a heads up, I might come see your match in person. You know, just an impartial observer to get a closer look at the champion I drafted. Absolutely no other reason at all. See you out there! Okay. The following is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Oh, Kevin Owens. He's known much more for cold stares than warm welcomes. It's Kevin Owens. All right, Tubbs, let's get it on. I'm sure KO is feeling lucky for the chance to redeem himself after losing focus the last time these two faced off. He must be absolutely salivating at the opportunity to expose the new title holder as nothing more than a paper champion. It's not every day you get a chance to rectify your mistakes this quickly. Oh, shut up, Corey. Be objective for once in your life. Actually, the commentators are never objective, ever. It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. Introducing the challenger from the Revolt Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 228 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Cody Lady Destroyer. Yes. <laughs> That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance of this match. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. 
I'm smelling a title change here. KO's a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation right. after losing to the champ in the opening round at SummerSlam. Oh, did you hear that? Owens absolutely not backing down. We'll get down here. Dropping Ooh. the elbow. to distract the Dark Horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. O'Connor rolls, shoulders are down. Has the challenger pinned, is this it? And shoulders up before a count of one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. He climbs into the ring. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal yes, the Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Come on. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE yeah. Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz. KO in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, well, take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. <laughs> oh, hi. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake. And more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy. Twice now. Beaten him with a chair. Put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. 
No, no, no. You will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs. Out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room. If not, with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubt is wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. And is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Here comes the prize fighter a man who always looks ready for a fight introducing the challenger from marieville quebec canada weighing in at 266 pounds kevin Owens. as gritty and tough as they come ko has to be one of the most hardened superstars anyone can face in this business and that is how he has spent nearly a decade as a top name in WWE. There have been very few folks to main event a single WrestleMania, let alone two. But KO has done just that. Yeah, KO's not the kind of superstar you'd picture as a multi-time WrestleMania main eventer. But he's made an entire career out of defying expectations. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trip. Okay. As the undisputed WWE Universal Championship literally hangs in the balance, the fresh champion looks to prove himself again against Kevin Owens. Well, not just Kevin Owens, it's Kevin Owens plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. Oh, what a forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Close line. So effective. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? From the top. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. The champion taking the high risk. Risk option to retain the title. Oh, with authority. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. Well placed kick. Oh, connects on the kick. 
And a kick. Oh. Oh. Kick finds it. Oh. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. What a throw. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. No, oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Big splash. That was one big behemoth flying down with authority and force. A step up in Zagari. Oh, no way to anticipate such a big boot right upside the head. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Caught with a neck breaker. Shoulder tackle. Good timing with that reversal. Oh, and it's over the pop up powerbomb. With that thunderous attack, you can just see how dead set KO is on grabbing the W. He's got the answer for that one. Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is so much fun to watch. Woo! Down we go. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Looks like he's gonna try to win this thing right here. Yeah, the setting up the ladder is only half the battle, Michael. You know that. Climb, go for it. Climb. Beginning that all-important climb up the ladder. Can he unhook it? Oh. Questionable timing of this. Oh my God! The prize in hand, but the ladder's gone. Our only question left is how bad do you want it? Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Signature aggression from Owens on display. Oh, Great escape by Owens. Okay. Uh oh. Star! Oh my God, Starter! I think the paradigm has shifted. Getting the ladder situated right now. A good spot, too, right in the center of the ring. Climbing up, guys. Here we go. Oh, boy. Working his way up the ladder now. This is a critical moment. He's heading for higher ground. Scaling the ladder now. Get set on a prize now. Gonna need a better grip on that. Yeah, no way that's coming down. Climbs back inside. Ooh. Oh, man. oh my gosh, what impact. Ooh, kick to the face. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Would you come into a TLC match expecting anything less, Cole? Making the climb here. Maybe looking to end this thing right now. Oh, here we go. He's got it in his grasp. Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well-calculated one either. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Ow. Boom. Look at this. Dead looking there. At this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Okay. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, right to the throat. Missed timing with that springboard. Uh oh. 
and that could provide all the breathing room you need to climb a ladder. Looking to snatch a victory here, guys. I think it's gonna happen. Look at it, one hook here. Here we go. There's no way it. it comes down here. It. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. Champ, apparently Tony D'Angelo thinks you cut in line at catering. Frankly, I hope you did. In my day, there were perks to being champion. Ugh, but this new generation of snowflakes thinks they've had their rights infringed upon if they've got to wait two minutes for a turkey burger. I'd love to see you take D'Angelo on and remind him of the hierarchy around here. Make it a chairs match, so he doesn't forget the champ doesn't just eat when he wants, he sits where he wants too. Contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. The Don of WWE says he's all about tradition. Yeah, I'm not sure how legal that tradition is. Well, D'Angelo has already developed quite the family in NXT, amassing success and winning titles. But now the question is, can he keep focused and succeed in all of WWE? Well, he better, because there's always competition to unseat the Don. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied. Hold on to your seats as this one gets underway. We'll see if this match lasts longer than a catering line for the champ. Allegedly. If the allegations are true, the Dark Horse should be ashamed. As WWE Universal Champion, he's supposed to set the example. He is. Why else would you want to be champion if not for the perks? Uh, glory, honor, and the best piece of prime rib. What do they have planned here? Uh-oh. He moved. Oh, you missed. Can he capitalize? Put into the corner now. Boom, right to the midsection. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. He's got the shoulders dead. And he gets the shoulder up. He is too fresh to have been kept down there. And Tony didn't see that coming. Shoulder tackle. Dominating shoulder tackle. Big elbow drop. Oof. He's getting a little battered now. He had to be prepared to take some damage. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. 
He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. The fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Over and over. Establishing complete control. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. <laughs> Stiff elbow will break that up. Oh, man. Right, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk slam. for some kind of equalizer here. The steel chair. Looks like he's opted to go with the simple but effective statement here. Steel chair I, to the temple. One wicked time. attack after another. Stop in the leg. D'Angelo showcasing his strength. D'Angelo is absolutely breaking his opponent down. into the ring from the floor now. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Cover! Kicks out before one. Truly cannot believe that didn't even get a one count. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. Ooh! Saw that coming. Big impact off the neck breaker. Nicely done. Arm trap. Northern light suplex. Oh, nice. Swinging neck breaker. That's got to be it. He breaks the ref's count before two. We are this far into the match. Where is this energy coming from? Taking it outside the ring now. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. He's back into the ring. What are they attempting to do here? Looking for a suplex. Oh, no, what a urinagi. No doubt, D'Angelo ended this. Oh, shoulder up before three. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. match. Yeah, Tony is getting a challenge and then some tonight. Close line! And D'Angelo has taken on a lot of damage in this match. It is time for Tony to tap into... Uh-oh! Oh, that is incredible! That could be curtains for Tony. Cover! It's over! Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Cody Lady Destroyer. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss.